Hello, my name is Bettina Farvik. I am Professor of Music History here at Cambridge, and I'm going to give you a very brief introduction to the analysis paper that we teach in our first year. Fundamentally, what you will be doing in that course is to get your hands dirty, metaphorically speaking. You will be getting stuck right in there with the notes and the sounds. The course will equip you with a basic toolkit for how to identify, talk about, and interpret different features of a piece of music. The course falls into two parts, which are taught in Michaelmas and Lent term. In the first term, we will focus on instrumental music, primarily of the Western tonal tradition. We will think about issues such as musical coherence, composing out and analytical reduction, surface and depth. Uh, we will investigate how motives and phrases combine into larger musical statements, how voice leading works, and the uh, basic formal templates of that tradition, binary form, variation form, sonata form, and so on. You will be looking at a range of different musical styles from different periods, such as 18th century keyboard music, um, 19th century works by Franz Schubert, Clara Schumann, 20th century jazz and popular music, and so on. The second term focuses on vocal music. It deals broadly with the analysis of song. So we'll be looking at the relationship between words and music, musical expression, musical modes, and so on. Uh, and the repertoires you will be looking at here might include Western liturgical chant, 16th century madrigal, folk song, 19th century art song, um, music theater, and so on. Now, because most parts of the course are taught by different lecturers in each year, the particular content you will study might vary from year to year, but the overall aim of the course stays consistent, which is to enable you to communicate insightfully about individual pieces of music and what makes them tick. Now, crucially, this is not intended as just an exercise for its own sake, but um, is intended to hopefully be helpful to um, the other parts of our music curriculum as well, so that what you learn in the analysis paper will become useful in what you're learning in your history paper, in tonal skills, and also for your own performing and composing practice. Thank you very much for listening.